Good morning, everyone. So glad you're with us. 529 now. I'm Eric Connors. And I'm Dana Marie McNichol. CBS 8 working for you this primary election, bringing you the latest numbers, the updates, the projected winners. Who is going to move on to the November election? We're tracking a number of races for you this morning, including a lot of this uh, impacting you South Bay voters. So here's two races for the 80th State Assembly District. One to fill the remaining term, Assemblywoman Lorena Gonzalez left open when she resigned. So here's a look at the numbers on that. David Alvarez with a 12% lead uh, right now by about 3,900 votes. And then the other race is to fill the next two-year term for that 80th Assembly District. And look at this. The numbers actually flip-flop. Georgette Gomez with 35% to David Alvarez's 32%. And the race for Tula Vista's next mayor is also being narrowed down to two candidates who will face the, each other off in November's election. That's where we have CBS 8's Anna Laurel. She's live in Tula Vista breaking down the results. Good morning. Good morning, you guys. Yeah, we're down here on 3rd Avenue. And yes, yeah, six candidates all vying for those top two spots. And it's that second spot that's really too close to call still this morning. Right now, we do know that current city council member John McCann is in first place. He's the Republican, but this is an officially nonpartisan mayoral race. As for second place, that's where it's tight right now. Former congressional candidate Amar Campanajar has only about 400 more votes over fellow candidate Jill Galvez. Galvez is also a city council member here and was deputy mayor in 2020. And more of you may recognize Amar Campanajar's name, even if you're not here in Chula Vista. He ran for a congressional seat against Daryl Issa and Duncan D. Hunter. He also held several positions in the Obama administration. Now, we heard from all three of those candidates right before the polls closed last night. Here was their last pitch to voters. I'll bring a new, fresh, different perspective and I'll unite people to get things done, whether it's public safety, affordable housing, or lowering the cost of living. Chula Vista is my hometown. I'm the most qualified with proven results of being endorsed by the Chula Vista Police Officers Association. I would like to make the toll road free for Chula Vistans. We'd like to continue to work on homelessness and get unsheltered housed where they're at. Uh, we'd like to continue to, to hire more police officers and firefighters. And again, the top two candidates will move on to November's primary, but let's talk about that assembly district seat, the 80th assembly district seat. In a special election to replace Lorena Gonzalez, only 168 votes separated Democrats David Alvarez and Georgette Gomez. Well, that led to yesterday's special election runoff. That's going to see who will fill the assembly seat until December. And so that's where this comes in. It's We've got two elections going on here, and it's really, it really seems strange, okay? Because right now David Alvarez is leading Gomez by a whopping 11 percentage points. And he's claiming victory and getting ready to head to Sacramento. But that's only until December. OK, that's just a few months now in the election that is going on at the same time. That's to fill the seat starting in December 2022 when that special uh, seat runs up when Lorena Gonzalez's term runs up. And so that's what makes this strange because in that race, Georgette is actually leading. So we'll have to see what happens when they start churning out some numbers again. We're expecting maybe some new numbers to come down at 7 a.m. this morning. Of course, we're going to be all over that, waiting to get those and get them out to you as soon as possible. So uh, we're just waiting to hear for that.